Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I am outside. I hope the background noise isn't too loud with all the cars and things going by. And if it is, I apologize. And um, today I'll be showing you the start of one of my most ambitious projects that I've done to date. It's a 2.5 meter uh, PC24 jet. I've showed you guys how to model this um, jet on my YouTube channel. And um, I went ahead and made molds for it and 3D printed the molds and um, then prepped the surfaces and um, laid up the nose. Now, um, this particular jet, I saw um, Rami RC, he made one a couple of years ago and I've always liked the PC24. So um, his build of it inspired me to actually go ahead and start um, doing one. And I found some really good drawings for um, the PC24. And from those drawings, I showed you guys how to model the jet in um, Fusion 360. So um, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you my work.
All right, now we have the PC24 here. Um, again, here's the right half of the mold, the nose here. And then I went ahead and um, laid this up inside of it. And here we have it. Now this is really light too, as well. And this is laid up with um, two four ounces, two four ounce layer of fiberglass cloth. And this jet is going to be 2.5 um, meters in length. I'll go ahead and explain how I um, made the, um, the molds here and prepared them. So first I designed the airplane and Fusion 360. Then I made, um, went ahead and made the molds also. Then I went ahead and 3D printed them. Now uh, this is two pieces here. This particular mold is, um, it's split right here. And these two pieces are glued together with um, CA glue. And then once they're glued together, the seam line, I use uh, body filler just to put on the little seam line to get rid of the seam line. And once I do that, then I take um, automotive primer, a filler primer, and I spray that um, quite heavily on the whole surface. Then I'll take 100 grit sandpaper, sand it down, and once that's sanded down, then I'll go to um, another layer of heavy primer, and then I'll sand that down with 220 um, grit sandpaper. Then once that's done, then I'll just put a final layer of um, primer on there, not as thick the third time, thick as the third time, and then I'll just take 400 grit sandpaper and sand that down so it's nice and smooth. Once that's um, dry, then I'll take um, um, either paint from a can, spray can or automotive and go ahead and um, spray in here and once that's um, sprayed in here and if the paint you know you got a, a nice surface on it then I'll go ahead and polish that and then wax it but if you get runs in it then you're gonna have to you know sand the runs out and then um, uh, after you sand the runs out then go ahead and um, polish it and um, wax the molds then so that's that And again, we have this uh, PC24 nose. My next video, I'll actually show you guys um, my preparation, how I do the molds, um, pre prep the surface of this when I finish the rest of the body um, for this jet. I have the molds already printed. I just haven't glued them together and um, got the surfaces um, done yet. So I'm um, going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. If the background noise is too loud, I really apologize for that. I'm outside today. It's a very nice day here. It's um, in the 80s, actually. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we've got that. Okay, here's my um, Learjet that I um, started working on earlier this year, late last year. And this is the fuselage. This jet will be, Learjet will be two meters long and should be powered by 270 millimeter EDF fans. And this is um, fiberglass. Um, the molds for this were 3D printed and let's take a look at the mold. Here is the side of the mold here. And the back half of the mold here, or excuse me, this is nose, the nose section of this um, Learjet here. And have the um, back half also. And again, these are 3D printed. And then I went ahead and um, finished the surface on these to get them nice and uh, smooth and a nice mirror finish on it so the parts will come out of the molds really nice too. So this is the Learjet. I've got the foam core. We're using foam core wings and the foam core will be sheeted with um, balsa wood. And again, this is it for the Learjet. This is very light. Um, this is even lighter than um, I expected it to be. 
And the molds that uh, I did these with, I'll explain the how I did these services later in the video here. Um, I did a couple of videos on um, finishing the surfaces of the molds and stuff like that. But um, I'll explain it again in this video so you don't have to go searching for an uh, earlier video that I did on this. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. And again, um, you can see the part here that I uh, made from the 3D printed mold of the PC24. And this turned out way better than I thought it would have. So I can't wait to, you know, get rest of this fuselage and things done on it. And the Learjet that I showed you earlier, um, one of my friends is going to uh, finish that out for me. Um, there's, there's still a lot of work to do on it, but I want to get started to work on this PC24 here. So, um, yeah. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to it so you don't miss any upcoming videos and um, on my channel. And I invite you to join my Facebook group and my Patreon site. Both are called Catville Fly RC. Go over there and have a look around over there. And um, if you can, become a paid member on my um, Patreon site. So yeah, it's only $5 a month and you have access to all the files that I show you guys how to model on my YouTube channel. So yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for this video and I will catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.